It's been very busy all over South Florida. Let's join my colleague now, Ty Russell, who is in Coral Gables. Ty, what's the picture down there? Well, there's still a line here, Joan, at the library here in Coral Gables. But also behind me, there are some folks here dropping off their vote by mail ballots since every early voting site has an area where you can drop the mail in ballots off. And now the county is already saying there has been a record turnout. And over in the city of Miami, leaders there are addressing some concerns from voters and business owners. Miami-Dade has 33 places for in-person early voting. It started today and will last until Sunday, November 1st. Thousands have already stood in the line to cast a ballot. Well, some people, you know, prefer the mail-in ballot, but I think it's just that serious of an election that if I can come in person, I, I did so. Voters can also drop off mail-in ballots at any of the early voting locations. But if you prefer going in person early, you may need to wait at a few of the sites. If I'm doing this, be honest with you, to wait in line for an hour. The Miami-Dade Elections website's early voting page has an area for people to see estimated wait times. Some voters lined up before the sun came up. They expected large crowds. A five, we have five. We, we don't want to wait and then the crowd. Day number one is not even over, and already county election leaders have called this a record turnout. It is one of our most fundamental rights as citizens, and we intend in the city of Miami to protect that right. Leaders in the city of Miami have been getting calls and email messages with concerns from business owners and voters. They want to know if they're safe. We don't have any credible threats right now against any polling site in the city of Miami or in Miami-Dade County. Miami Police Chief George Kalina has increased the presence of officers at polling sites in both uniform and plain clothes. He says there's no need to feel uncomfortable expressing your right to vote. You're going to have the ability to go vote peacefully without being coerced or harassed in any fashion. City of Miami officers have also canceled vacation and time off for the days leading up to, during and after the election. Now, if you are choosing to vote in person early, make sure you have your face mask. Poll workers will also tell you to use hand sanitizer before casting a ballot. Now, we should also note that the times for early in-person voting, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. We are live in Coral Gables. I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News.